Welcome to Face Jam, the show where we try every single new fast food creation that has ever come out or ever will come out to let you know if you need it. If you think we missed one, you're an idiot. I'm your host, Michael Jones, alongside my co-host, Jordan Swears. Jordan, how are you? Today, I truly am feeling like we've tried every you, single you've, fast you've food creation. You've taken some of your clothes off. I have. I'm laying down. You, you're laying down uh, in an undershirt, I've which tri- really just makes it look like you just woke up and you're on a couch. <laughs> you like you woke up at your friend's place. Like, where am I? Yeah, hungover, and you're like, uh. that's exactly how I feel after <laughs> eating Applebee's. Applebee's, all you can eat: boneless wings, riblets, and double crunch shrimp. Any thoughts, Eric? You gonna pick your microphone up at any point? Or just <laughs> what's up? I don't, I don't feel good at all. <laughs> yeah, um, this was the oh. this was the episode for Gracie to miss if she was gonna miss one, and she is. She is. She couldn't. She. Well, she, we took so got long to, we at took Applebee's. So long, two and a half hours. What was the drive to get there and back? Too? Yeah. I don't mean we were there for two and a half hours. The whole thing was two right. and a half hours to to do. Yeah. Um. Oh fuck! It's two fifty one when we're starting, and we met at twelve. Yeah. It was like twelve ten. It was. It, it, uh, Applebee's yeah. is Higher. doing <laughs> <laughs> Applebee's is doing all you can eat and it's a challenge to you. Yeah, it was a challenge. Gracie, well, Gracie, hold on, hold on, Gracie hold couldn't on. make it because she had to go to therapy. Yeah. But the but because to be fair, Applebee's. she made the appointment at Applebee's <laughs> yeah. after eating. It. She was she like, was like, I need I need to go now. Yeah. She, she was like, I don't know if I keep doing the show. <laughs> It's not really you guys she as much was, as this She food. was eating and going, something has to change. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? This is the rock bottom I've been hearing yeah, about. Yeah, we were all telling her, like, it's not too late. Yeah. <laughs> like, it doesn't have can, to be this way, Gracie. You can turn it around. Yep. Uh, uh, I was going to say, it. It. the term all you can eat does sound like a challenge, which is why I always think of how they changed it at like Disney resorts mm-hmm. to all you care to enjoy. Is that for real? So that they don't put an onus on you to eat as much as you can in some sort of challenge-like fashion. You got, They're not throwing the gauntlet down. It's I, it's simply honest, a buffet where you can eat until you don't want to. I guess I'm. I guess I was out of loop because I never felt like a gauntlet was thrown <laughs> at all. You can eat buffet. I I do. Is, is is Nick nodding I mean, because yeah, he yeah, agrees Nick feels or because way, not at an all you can eat buffet? Yeah. <laughs> we go to McDonald's and he goes, "This is a challenge," and he tries to order as many things every, as he can. Every, every Here's the whole menu. Is a it's if anything, me. all you can eat is a relief to me when yeah. there's Nick because at least it's like fuck it. He can just get it. He doesn't have to right. beg for it. Right. He doesn't he have begs to go for the ooh, brownie. Anyway. He doesn't have to whisper. Can we get this? Can we? But he'll whisper about. Something. Ooh, a dollar. <laughs> you Fruit you milkshake. You just knew that's the example. You just knew exactly how to push him. <laughs> you gave him just the smallest little push, and it just sets him off. It's like giving him permission to do right. his worst. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I found him. You're with an a enabling glue, parent. I found him with a glue bottle. He was about to huff, and I, <laughs> yep. and I opened it for him. <laughs> yep. I want to see where this goes. He was like, I can't get, I, I can't get these pills open. Oh, you got to push down yeah. and then turn it. Yeah. Oh. 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 I ate too many pills. Oh, candy. <laughs> uh, we were gonna do this for a spit and silly episode. Because we're but like, then you well, weren't allowed to leave because the house. It's, it's limited time. It's regular food, but it's regular food. But then we ended up not being able to. We're like, ah, you know what? Right, because you weren't allowed to leave your house. That's true. Let's be clear why we didn't go. It's very true. Yeah. Yeah. Disgusting the spit and silly. Yeah, I know. I just uh, want to bring it up yeah. in case they didn't want you. And the guess roads what? are too dangerous. I drove thirty-five minutes uh, to a doctor's appointment. Guess what? It's Wasn't being discussed now as well. Uh huh. <laughs> not my. Not my choice. <laughs> no, but I don't do a podcast with your wife, so exactly. I'm gonna take it out on you. Yet, uh, yeah, yeah. Give yet. it time. Never give it time. Um, crossover. Oh, so we crossover. decided. Oh, we'll do this for the crossover. <laughs> we'll do this for Face Jam because it'll be fun. Like it'll be fun. We'll go to Applebee's. It'll be like a like a goofy thing. And um, well, the only Applebee's is either thirty minutes north or thirty minutes south. They're like none in the city limit. So we've chased yeah. them out. Yeah, that, Jesus. Christ. Friday's Applebee's, your next Chili's. I don't know if actually even the oh, Chili's. That, that 45th and Lamar yep. one is an it's institution. Toast, baby. It's toast. Like that first ever In N Out. They closed like the first ever In N Out. Did they? In the, in the, in the world? 
like, yeah, I think that's like ever open. It's the first one that's closed because they were like too much crime. Oh, and I they just closed it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they were like, we can't. That. This sucks. That's awesome. You know what's cool about that is that Applebee's would never close a location no. because of too much crime. No, they, they, they would. In, they fa would, in fact, they, they would, would help shift, the crime. They would shift. You would come their on and say, come on in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need need to lay low. Come on in. <laughs> yeah. And we're get their appetizer sampler. Do you need a place to live? Do you Applebee's. need a place to lay low and also somewhere that will take the bloody money you have? <laughs> we will. Do you have three stars right now? Or yeah. Come lay low. Yeah. We know how to wash dye packs off of cash anyway, so bring it in. <laughs> do you need? We do a, that as a hobby. <laughs> do you need to get an Amazon package delivered, but you don't have a home address? All right. Applebee's. Let's talk about this guy. Then. Okay. Man, it's it's shame Grace is not here because it was like uh, yeah she the, was the two of you it was mostly Gra Gracie the and whole I show. were we were sitting next to each other at a very weird table dude it was the, the strangest the table I'd ever table. seen you all pointed it out when we sat down then the waitress pointed it out yeah. and was like do you want to sit here because people don't like sitting here <laughs> and I was like it's perfect I loved it because it was fucking weird. it was so weird it was a long oval table uh -huh. and uh, but it was in the corner so the booth seating did not wrap around the, like the whole table. So it was like it was like imagine a seat on one end, a seat on the other end, seating along the whole length, and then just one in the corner across. <laughs> yeah, like a <laughs> nub. Oh, yeah, like a, nub a little seat. a little floater. It's like the table was kind of like a table you'd see at like a poker tournament. And yes. then imagine yeah. a and then imagine a booth going around eighty percent of it. <laughs> yes, maybe seventy percent of it. <laughs> I'm so used to like Michael being. a across from me like directly across but he was like over in the corner yeah, it was I, was, I was on the end because I was like I ain't getting trapped in no, you weren't I get even, too fidgety you weren't even directly across from Gracie I wasn't directly across from anyone no <laughs> it was so bizarre weird. but I was technically then there was there was a gap in the in the booth that didn't exist mm -hmm. but I was also next to Nick just far away just, next to just him. Right. far next to but far yeah, away. I, I, I was I was in between yes. Eric and Nick, but Nick was four feet away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very similar to now. So so Jordan and Gracie yeah, were so we, blocking uh, another guest. We had a view of the uh, of the end of the restaurant, and in the table in the corner, the whole place was empty on our side except yes, for this yeah. guy. It's just a dude sitting there. He had a bunch of like. Tote bags a with them, shit. like yeah. grocery tote shit. bags, and a shit bunch of shit that you're not, you wouldn't normally see yes. at a table yeah. or in a booth at Applebee's. Right, well, it's, uh, stuff that most people wouldn't just be carrying around. At least not to a restaurant. Nope. Yeah, like maybe to and from your car. Really, yeah. <laughs> stuff you would keep in a car yeah. if you had yeah. one. <laughs> right. Really <laughs> had in your house. Really had us wondering. Well, it wasn't his house. What was in those bags? <laughs> and um, I think uh, when I first like clocked him and started asking questions was he was talking to an Amazon guy. Where did that guy fucking come from? I don't know because then he went and sat down at the bar. <laughs> so he was talking to the Amazon one guy. A, one Amazon, one PM. He was talking to the Amazon, Amazon guy Amazon and I, I raised the question to the table, do you think that this guy got a package delivered here to the I, Applebee's? I definitely think so. I think the Amazon guy probably came in to use the bathroom because his piss jar was full in his truck. Dude, <laughs> What the fuck was that bathroom? It was not good. I don't want to sidetrack from this story here. He came. Nick said he came from the bathroom too. Okay, so it all he, links. Yeah. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's all starting to make sense. Not in a good way, uh, <laughs> but so, in kind of like a lynch. So way. over the course of the hour or so that we were there, we saw many things happen with this guy. He just kept going. He did. He went across the aisle to another table at one point, and yeah. his bags were over there, and then. Our waitress was putting stuff in the bag as yeah. well, like yep. candy, and then she took one of the bags. Yep. And we were just so confused. So <laughs> so that's when it shifted again to like, does this guy work here and not live here? And then we went back to he definitely lives here because the last thing we saw him do was put on deodorant. <laughs> just in at the, the restaurant. At the booth. Standing up in the middle of the area, putting deodorant on. He didn't lift his shirt. He was doing it like through the <laughs> through the collar. What she did? Hang on. What? Nick, Hold on. Nick take, just on, take a of Nick this. just wrote a note and he said, "I forgot because he forgot this happened that our waitress hugged both that guy and the prime delivery guy." Dude, <laughs> there was something going on. There's something about the there might have been the there might have been a polycule here. situation. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. Oh, I got a network. It's been on the rise they got, lately. They got a network going. I'm just saying, the social network. <laughs> it's 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 a social network. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that means if someone else 
If someone else starts dating one of them, they get all of them into the polycule. So this, they could be like a, you know how they do, you know, they'll do like, um, like a work sports club or something. You know what I mean? Uh -huh, like uh -huh. we're going to get, we're getting like a baseball team together or something from people at the office. Maybe it's like that situation where they're just like flyers up. It's like, anybody wants to hop in? You bring your bags anyone in. Anyone wants to join my softball team or my poly yeah, yeah. You can uh, bring your bags in. You, can, yeah. you need, he came in to well, borrow the deodorant. Right, I'll right, give you deodorant. You're just seeing flyers for it. <laughs> you take a little tear off on the bottom, <laughs> join a polycule. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Oh, fuck. What was I going to say? Um, I would uh, say, like, based on the people at this Applebee's, I was not going to be surprised if we saw the dude who crashed into Gracie's car yeah. walk in. Dude, <laughs> dude, dude, dude <laughs> like, you it's said that, that kind of person. You said that. You're like, I wouldn't be surprised if he walked in. I was like, bro, he would walk in and he would be the manager here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's how. Like, in, in, like, in, in, that's, and in the sense of talking about that guy being like, oh, this is like a normal person, like a real world. Right. Normal, these not, are, like a, not like a good thing, but like these are the yeah. people that exist in the world. That these are the people. With. And it's some guy that like doesn't have insurance or whatever. And he's like, I know a guy who's a friend of my yeah. friend. <laughs> right. I got a picture of my license. Yeah. That's exactly what that that Applebee's was like. A couple of a bunch of normal people, yeah, normal people, real normal yep. people yep. here putting deodorant on in the middle of Applebee's. <laughs> so, so the jury is still out on what that guy's deal was. I, Gracie, and I even talked about like, should we like walk to the bathroom and like walk by and maybe like sneak a peek at like what's in those bags and like try to get a better sense of what. What his deal is? Uh -huh. Who is in those bags? Yeah, uh -oh. is probably the question. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, it's probably good that you didn't go to the bathroom. Yeah. Right now, this is something you and Michael and Nick got to experience. Uh, Nick went to the bathroom, didn't tell us came anything. Came back, said nothing. nothing. Yeah, Nick came said back. No well, no, he the said that he heard about these right. two guys. He saw talking the Amazon about guy. eating at Red Lobster. <laughs> he did. That's what he saw. <laughs> he saw the Amazon <laughs> guy. And the guy who made lives the situation. Yeah. I will yeah. say that if I went into that bathroom and I came back, <laughs> the thing that I would remember is that those two guys were talking about Red Lobster in there more than everything else about the bathroom. Um, that. What the fuck were they talking about about Red Lobster? They well, want to the, eat there. The and Amazon eat? guy worked there. Yeah. Worked there. Oh, the the, the guy maybe, who lives at Applebee's. Maybe homeless guy. The Amazon guy had never been there. He wanted to go. Oh, he's not homeless. He lives at Applebee's. He works at Red Lobster. It, that all makes and sense. Then, and then the and Amazon then he gets hugs and bags <laughs> from our waitress. <laughs> okay. The Amazon driver had never been to a Red Lobster and then asked when that guy was working. So that, that way he correct. could come in and check Then that guy it out. immediately started panicking. Yeah. Yeah. Because he did. Uh, uh, oh, uh, shit. It's, a, it's in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> so Nick came back and told us that about the bathroom. He didn't say about how it was. Anything smelled. else. And then uh, Michael went to the bathroom. Yeah, I just went to the bathroom before he left. As you were leaving. so far away. Uh -huh. I was I was relieving myself before we were relieving ourselves from the restaurant. Right. And I, I one way to put it. Uh -huh. the door uh -huh. and was just hit with like, if you ever watch like crime scene shows or whatever, uh -huh. they're like the stench of death. It was it, one it's of like those. a wall. Yeah. It was like, oh, and I was like, that's that's a septic issue or something. Yeah. And then I walked in and it looked as bad as it smelled. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, we'll make fun of Applebee's, but like it it still was like a fine, like taking yeah. care of establishment. It was only kind was of clean. falling apart. It was cleanish. Yeah. Right. It was a little bit falling apart, but it wasn't like it wasn't like the whole vibe was like, oh, this place is right. dirty and smelly. Uh, we, we didn't notice that the, the that one of the ceiling the, tiles the ceiling was, tile like, was about to fall on us. Yeah, it was and falling holding down. five pounds of water yeah. in it. <laughs> but even still, it was like, look at that one ceiling tile. Yeah. This was like, oh, this is like, it, didn't it was the bathroom there. of a fucking shitty dive bar. Yes. Not an Applebee's right. that people are eating at at one o'clock in the afternoon. It had, it's not like, I, I just want to make sure this this picture is right. There wasn't stuff everywhere. It wasn't dirty in a way where it was like, fuck, this place is fucked up. Right, like there's trash or but whatever. But you walked in and the lighting was fucked. It all just looked run down. Yeah, and it the stench was so powerful. It's like it's like when you 
people like on ghost shows, it's like, oh, I feel an evil presence. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, I instantly start having eaten what we'd already eaten and then walking yeah. in, I was like, I'm getting a headache. Yep. I'm getting a headache <laughs> in here. Like, it was just like a film in the air. <laughs> oh, gross. Did it get on you? I must have. Uh, honestly, I think it followed me back. Oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it's a we, conjuring situation. Uh -huh. we, we need to put Gen it in an Annabelle. We need Jennifer Love Hewitt. <laughs> <laughs> we, um... It, it, remember when there was like that septic issue at the office in like the one bathroom and they needed to like put water in it or something because it was like letting like sewer gas kind of like Who, whose bathroom the at the other office no what's you know, the other office you talking about the bungalow no the animation one. Oh, because i oh. remember when that happened at the bungalow yeah and and blaine and chris were like did you what'd you do to our office yeah and we kept going, we didn't do did anything. anything. And they yeah. kept insisting yep. that we'd done something. Because this is also, we made a stink barrel. Yeah. And it was just a septic yeah. issue. Oh, so they oh, were just searching their office for a prank, but they were just sniffing turds for like it, a week. It smelled, it smelled <laughs> like that. It smelled like that. Off and camera, you guys if do it. someone you guys do it. had been smoking cigarettes and lighting toilet paper on fire. Next to a dead body. It was, <laughs> I don't, it it just it, smelled, it was rancid, dude. It was it rancid. Smelled oh. dead it smelled dead and yeah, rotting again, and fire. It's not like, oh, what's that bad smell? It's like, oh, there's death here. It's That's, like what I imagine the world of Walking Dead smells like. Yes. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's, it's why That's I came back from the was. I came back from the bathroom and looked at Eric and I was like, you're going to want to say no. <laughs> you're going to want to say no. He just went for the episode. Just just for the content. Somebody else. About it. You got to walk just to the bathroom. Because it, it's going to, does it smell bad? And then you'd say, well, I don't want to go there. Yeah. And it did. But not like someone just poo pooed. No. It was just like, <laughs> no, totally, this is constant. Totally this, unreal way. this smells like this all the time. Yeah. All day. It gets to a point where it's not gross, it's interesting. It was. That's exactly what it was. I mean, it was both. Yeah. For sure. But it's, it's gross and interesting. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. It kind of smelled like the zoo where like animals were like. You know, there's like an like and an that's unwellness. A, that's a great description of Applebee's. Yeah. That was, <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking the whole Applebee's situation is like I have to be really careful with Applebee Applebee's because it like scratches a little white trash itch in me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where and it's I, an itch you like being scratched. Oh, I, I really enjoy back home. Oh man. When when you get a, one of those you get those boneless wings and they're fried and they're tossed in some fucking dog shit sauce <laughs> and there's french fries and it's just like this is all i could legitimately eat that every day i could just be like that's it for me and i have to be so careful not but to. he's not happy about it no 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 yeah i mean that's not it's not an itch you're proud of no 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 but but there's a real pull there for me well, just, good, good thing they're so far away. Huh? They are so far away. <laughs> it's like, oh, you want to go to Applebee's? No, I'm not on Slaughter Lane. Like, what the fuck? It's crazy. Boy, it's exactly the same as when we went the first time and the second time. <laughs> Which Applebee's did we go to the first time? The first time we went to one that's closed now. No. Is that the one over by... Uh... The uh, like two ninety. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah. Uh, the second time that one was close. Yeah. That was great. The second time we went to the one that's on like Lewis Henna. Yeah. It's we like went way all the way up, up there. Mine's a round rock. And that was supply chain issues. Yep. Mind you, you say that other one closed. We pulled up and thought this one might have. Yes. Been closed. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Dude, yeah, dude I forgot about there were, that. There because, are two cars and a lime scooter <laughs> in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. And the, and the, Who do you the think Applebee the sign scooter? with the marquee <laughs> under it. The marquee was totally blank. Oh yeah. And it was like uh oh. Eric is going, no, they're open, they're open, they're open, they're open, they're open. It's not that he could tell, but it was definitely, it was manifesting it He open. was worried, but definitely he manifesting, was very just worried, in case. Dude. It would have been like an hour drive to the other Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gracie definitely would have missed her appointment then. Yeah, um, and she <laughs> was not going to because she needed it more than ever. Yeah, after, after, after eating, eating that, uh-huh. Uh, it is exactly the same it's fucking crazy. It's so crazy how oh, Applebee's, Applebee's is exactly how I remember it 10 years ago and two years ago and four years ago. How about five years ago? Yeah. Hang on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me read this haiku so we can get Oh, okay. It's, yeah. only been, it's only been 20 minutes. Yeah, for a half hour episode, all right. Yeah. <laughs> we, we kind of loosely floated that. So <laughs> if it ends earlier than an hour, you know why. <laughs> Just a harmless bite. <laughs> Of the forbidden apple. <laughs> <laughs> Doomed to eat it all. Yeah. Whoa. That was good. That was very good. Yeah, and, and it really, and really describes I, Applebee's. I feel doomed and cursed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What a what uh, a trip. We were the Hold naked on, what, ladies. What else happened here? We, we need a forbidden. Mm-hmm. Fruit. We need <laughs> mm-hmm. we need to talk about some stuff that happened with the Gracie because okay. she's not here to defend herself. Um, so, Eric was very excited about this. So we opened uh, a staunch uh, Gracie <laughs> hater. <laughs> Uh, is really excited to hammer her while she's not here. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I was ready to hammer her when she was here, and she just decided not to be here today. Yeah, um, she decided. Um, so uh, when we sit down, we I open the menu to the first page, and I immediately see pretzels. And I think it's funny to be like, look, Gracie, it's pretzels. Isn't yep. that funny? Yep. And she goes, I know. I looked it up before we got here. And she I just, told me before and, you got here. And I just, I just like tossed the menu. It was like a fucking course. <laughs> like, I can't, can't surprise anybody. Oh, so how many pretzels are in an order? Four. Well, it comes with four pretzels. Oh, okay. There were five of us. <gasps> yeah. And then so, one of us said we didn't want a pretzel. Gracie. No. Oh, it was you. It was yeah, Eric. Right. It was uh-huh. Eric. So it's and like, so that sounds fine. You get one order well, of pretzels. I, the conversation was, oh, we need to get two orders so Eric can get one. So we have enough for Eric. And Eric right. says, Oh, I don't want one. So it's perfect for one order. And then Gracie's like, I want two pretzels. And it's like, but if we get so two we'll, orders, then we can all we, get, we'll two get two. And we'll like, get two. We'll get two. This tracks. This so, tracks. Uh, that's what we did. Yeah, we so got, we got two orders of pretzels while getting the all you can eat food. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Nick and loved Nick it. got a brownie. Nick got dessert too. The one dollar brownie that he was like, oh, I don't, I don't. Uh, and then Michael went, you want it? And he went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took him no time. I went, I went, I couldn't let it go to waste. It, it wouldn't have been ordered. Wouldn't, yeah. He could have said, yeah. I don't want it. I, he he, was he like, didn't order it. I mean, I did because he's like, well, brownie. Oh, and I went, and he's like, oh, I don't want to get it. And I went, yes, you do. You want it. He went, yes, I do. Yeah. And then I went, he'll have a brownie, ma'am. <laughs> And then he got the brownie. And he went, Ooh, it's a dollar. It's a dollar. He'd be he'd be losing money if he did. Yeah, at least yeah, one. that's how I would feel. At stupid. least one monkey math. <laughs> 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 oh my fucking god, dude! Just like this well, food. Then also, also, I turned the menu over and saw. Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, dude, I was like, dude. everyone turn your menus over. You did, you did say that. Yeah. Um, so turns then we out, had to get their drinks. Turns out they became friends on a hit TV show. Uh, they didn't but say which, which one. They didn't say which one. I'm not sure which show they were talking about. I don't about. remember Aaron Paul being on Malcolm in the Middle. No, he was on Sign. He was Reese. Well, maybe. I think he was Reese. That was Dewey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Remember Dewey? Dewey? <laughs> this is him now. Yeah, he played young Joe Dirt in the Joe Dirt movie. He did. He got left in a trash can. <laughs> awesome. So they are doing these uh, drink specials that we also ended up movie, getting. Joe Dirt. They're, they're yeah. not on the uh, the rundown, but like we ended up getting these drink specials. They had dos hombres, mezcal, two men, right? It's Spanish for two men. It's Spanish for two men who met on a <laughs> uh, a critically acclaimed breakout hit TV show, television program. Uh, but they are mixing dos hombres with the rocks tequila Terramana. Mm-hmm. He was not on the menu anywhere. No, no just of his name. Yeah, and that was the bullshit. only. That was the only drink that used the rocks tequila, right? Or all did, of the they, those they all did. Those three all did. Oh, really? Yes. I thought it was. Nope. I thought it was all dos hombres and then a little special. Nope. The, the all, those the three like the one that you got. You guys got the uh, Breaking Bad meth looking drink because it's blue. Oh. And that's why I had the rock the rock rim that was blue. What also, was I was thinking of Malcolm in the what Middle. What does this the have to do Breaking Bad? It's a. It's just a show. Yeah, but but like, are, but why would they are use Brian that? and Aaron fans of it? Yeah. Brian and Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, that's so weird. Cranky <laughs> Cranston <laughs> using a celebrity's first name. My Fred Durst. This is my friend Fred. <laughs> I don't think anybody calls him Fred. <laughs> He's Fred Damon. Durst. Matt Damon's I thought you were gonna say I don't think Matt. anybody calls him friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Damn. So we got the. Uh, we got the margarita things oh, or whatever. Oh, we got it. <laughs> and uh, the mezcal was prevalent to all of us. It was more like a martini, not it, a margarita. Yes. Um, it was. So yours, yours you. came out first. Uh, which, smelled which, like, which I thought was very strange that it was so staggered. Mm-hmm. It was a big gap. Yeah. yeah. Between yeah. This is when I kind of started having worries about how this was going to go. <laughs> they know? didn't have the right glasses. So we I don't got think they mar- had the right plates either, to be honest. Um, they had the plates that they had. <laughs> they had some plates that got wiped down. Um, <laughs> me and you got martini glasses. Mm-hmm. 
Michael she, just got a little shorty glass. Yeah, you That's got fine. like a highball or something. Yeah. That's fine. And it was fine. It was just, she just came over and she's like, we do these drink specials and they don't I, even have the right my, glass. That I was another thing that was like. in those glasses. Yep. So I'm used Hell to yeah. it. Hell yeah. I was yeah. getting concerned about the vibes when she would come over and start slagging off her coworkers. Oh, I like oh, it. Oh, yeah. I thought that was great. Vibe. I thought that shit rolled. Oh, for sure, dude. And yeah. like, and just like, bitching at Applebee's yep. itself. Yeah. She's just, awesome. That I'm all for. Like when, like it turned when at the end, Gracie wanted a to-go box, and she's like, you don't want to put another order yet? And she goes, I mean, just to have it go to go? And she's like, yeah, I mean, we're not supposed to do it, but who cares? <laughs> yeah. And I was just yeah. like, awesome. Our waitress yes. rock. Yeah, she yes. came out with a double order. Stick it to Apple. And then yes. even the riblets, we, when we got the riblets, she threw in an extra. three order. orders she's of riblets. Like, she's like, yours, yours, yours. And one more. Whoever put wants it. Down. it. Uh, and then we didn't take and it. And nobody <laughs> wanted it. Nope. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> But was, yeah, that's just, when that I did a 180. I was like, okay, now, now it's oh, awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now she, was, it she was an awesome waitress for it. I know it feels like 2024 has been going on forever already, but we are, in fact, still at the beginning of the year, which means it's never too late to start hitting those new year fitness goals. And one great way to do just that is with FitBod. Whether you're a seasoned gym goer or just starting your fitness journey, FitBod will push you to make progress because it's like having your own personal trainer, but better. It's cheaper, you can work out anywhere with or without equipment, and it's easy to build a custom fitness plan that works for you. So the great thing about FitBod is when you open the app and you set up your profile, there are several options to customize FitBod to your unique fitness preference. That means generating workouts based on your goals, what equipment you have or don't have. I don't really have a lot, so I do a lot of just kind of like cardio stuff, which mostly means like doing jumping jacks in the middle of my room and scaring my cats, but it works for me. There are six defined fitness goals to choose from, like general fitness, bodybuilding, strength training, muscle tone power lifting, and Olympic lifting. So if you want to make the Olympic team, we're in January. Olympics are in what? August? There's probably some time. You can make it to Paris. Or you can pick something else that aligns with your goals and change it any time. That's what I really like about it. I like the flexibility of being able to do what I want to do that day. If I have a little less time, I can pick something that's maybe a little shorter. Or if I get some equipment down the road, I can start maybe going for maybe not Olympic lifting, but you know, maybe I can do some strength training. You know, for me, 2023 was a year of sitting around on the couch too much. So I'm trying to get back into general fitness. So to add FitBod to your workout essentials, join FitBod today and get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off your subscription or try the app free at fitbod.me slash facejam. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash facejam. Facejam is also brought to you by our good friends at Shady Rays. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses brand that has over 250,000 five-star reviews. They are on a mission to match affordability with durability, making top quality shades accessible to everyone. They have tons of styles and colors to pick from, so finding the perfect polarized shades is a breeze. And let me tell you, they got so many that I have so many glasses now. If you're looking for an upgrade, we would recommend their premium Color Rush lenses. Crafted with rare earth materials, these lenses bring high-impact color to life, elevating reds, blues, and greens. This is the first I'm hearing about this. I gotta check those out. Or, if you're like all of us here at Face Jam and you stare at screens all day, Shady Rays also have blue light glasses to level up your gaming style and reduce eye strain. Also, they have snow goggles. I don't know how many of us are, are hitting the slopes. But, you know, it's ski season. It's snowboard season. Shady Rays has quick swap snow goggles that are perfect for any light conditions on the slopes. So you know us. We wear our Shady Rays all the time. Michael wears them indoors. I wear them while I'm driving or if I'm outside. The polarized lenses are great for reducing glare and stuff on the road, even if I'm not driving. In a ride-along, I'm wearing my Shady Rays. If your shades go MIA or take a hit, you don't sweat it. They've got lost and broken protection. So you're covered from day one. I've had to use that a couple times. You know the story with Nick and his glasses. It works great. And if you don't love your shades when you get them, you can exchange or return them for free within 30 days. So there's no risk when you shop. All right. So listen up exclusively for our listeners. Shady Rays is giving out their best deal. Head to ShadyRays.com and use code FACEJAM for 35% off polarized sunglasses and snow goggles. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 250,000 people. 
That's ShadyRays.com and use code FACEJAM. Thank you so much, Shady Rays, for your support. But we should get to the facts and learn about Applebee's. We only got five minutes left in this episode. to get to the facts. Yeah. And like, right some of us yeah. physically need to get I, to them. Uh, uh, they're on the floor. Uh, I got them. Did you hear that? Yep. That was the sound of grabbing. It's on the other side. Nope. All you nope. can eat boneless nope. wings. No, no that's no, my part. No, bread no, and pieces no, of no, other way. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Jordan was like, I'm getting angry for something. Yeah, Jordan. Right. <laughs> Something's being taken from me. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Our previous Applebee's episode was released November 22nd, 2021, where we ate the Cheetos Boneless Wings and Cheetos Cheese Bites. It received an average score of 34.5. That was a long time ago. That was a long time I ago. I can believe, can't ago? believe that was... Yep. That's when it was Morbin time? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Holy so moly. I remember that specifically <laughs> because, and as uh, some people may know, we'll have another video coming out with uh, Gremlin Larry. Mm -hmm. We dropped off some... some uh, Wings and shit for him. Some double order. And he <laughs> was he was fiending over the uh, the Cheetos dust. Yeah, and that's when because he kept saying he was morbid over it. Yeah. So oh, that's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. how I know yeah. the movie was out. He took them. He just kept saying I'm morbid for these, and he even went on to explain because in the movie he's got there's like the good blood, but then there's like the yeah. fake shitty blood. Good morb, and he, bad morb. And he was like, and he was like doing shitty morb blood, like knockoff shit uh -huh. to try and get the taste of the Cheeto dust, but it wasn't as good. And he's like, I'm over here using the shitty morb. I need the good morb. <laughs> this fucking I was like, Larry, I just kept saying, Larry, lose my numbers. Stop texting me. <laughs> this is like not on Slack. This is him texting me after work. It's the Larry, it's 3 a.m. Please. Yeah. You gotta fucking stop. He was doing a thing where when this was out, Applebee's, you know, they would deliver, but they wouldn't deliver to his apartment. So he was having delivered to like a friend's place or like down the street so he could get it. Did he know you could home. just get delivered to the Applebee's? What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. He was moving zones so he could get the Cheetos I've done delivered that. to him. I've done that. He, we, <laughs> we brought him. So I've done that for like, like, um, there's something that, good. There's that, <laughs> <laughs> there's that app GoPuff, and I was out of the zone, and not for that. Oh. Well, some people do it for that, but like they were, they were one of the only places uh, during the pandemic that were like delivering COVID tests. Yeah. So I had it delivered to the office, and I just, it was closed. The office was closed, but I just camped out and waited for them to drop it off, and then I picked it up and left. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, when we drop, if you go to facejampod.com, you can watch this video later of us dropping off food to Larry. And food drop. on the way there, it was, who he's going to ask where the Cheeto dust is. He's going to ask where the Cheeto right. dust is. We dropped it off, and he's like, oh, yeah, awesome. He starts eating it, and he's like, oh. Yeah, he was very excited about Applebee's. And then went. Oh no, Cheeto dust. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, like not that he expected it, but he yeah. had to joke. Oh yeah, because it's <laughs> his favorite. Uh -huh. Just imagine, uh -huh. I called that one pretty well. Oh yeah, that's all right. Good. After high turnover in the '90s into the 2000s, Applebee's turned to quote gamification and leaderboards to increase employee retention. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Having servers earn badges for upselling items, or cooks earn points for taking a quiz about what? when they should wash their hands. What? <laughs> what? We're going to test. We're going to test a similar system here at Face Jam, but we really expect the hand washing question to trip up the monkey on the regular. So, really, this is anyone's game. Let's play. <laughs> Why'd you capitalize the P? <laughs> He's just playing. I I love uh, the I love that it's it's for servers to upsell items, but they need to include like the right. back of house what people. Can, what can we get so the they're like, to do? um, when do you wash your hands? And they go. And went all the time, and they go, uh, great, you earned some, you're Never. on the leaderboard. Yeah. Never. <laughs> you, get, you get a gold star. Fuck. Uh, do you think that helped with the uh, retention and the turnover? Oh, probably, probably not. Like, that's probably the next fact. It worked great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dollarita Steve, who broke the internet after, quote, slamming Dollaritas, during an earthquake in the city last week, has partnered oh, up with Applebee's, the restaurant chain announced on Monday. I think this is my magnum opus, said Dollarita Steve. I don't know what any of this means. I'm glad because <laughs> I'm rereading it I'm as Michael says dude, it too. Dude, I know, right? And I'm reading it like this guy's, I'm reading it out loud going, this guy's reading it wrong. But those are the words on there in the order that they were meant to be read. Jordan, just, Jordan, and the commas Jordan. never stopped. Jordan. Hold on. 
has sat Hold up on. and is leaning forward to further My, investigate. Michael, Michael, let me try. Okay. Go for it. Dollarita Steve, <laughs> who broke the internet after, quote, slamming Dollaritas during an earthquake in the city last week. <laughs> has partnered up with Applebee's, the restaurant chain announced on Monday. I think this is my magnum opus, said Dollarita Steve. <laughs> no, it's not any right? Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like you tackled it a little bit better than me, but you had heard it once. Where's, the commas where's just the keep quick? coming. <laughs> the commas just and keep coming. I'm like, how many commas deeper? <laughs> I know. You keep thinking the sentence is going to end, but there's just more commas. <laughs> and then another sentence is just going. Did, did Applebee's announce earthquake. that there was an earthquake Who, in the city? Did Applebee's create an earthquake? <laughs> like, what is... Do we have an earthquake machine? <laughs> Who is Dollarita? Dude, Who? dude, Who is, dude I, I started wondering on the that. And once I got to the earthquakes, I was like, I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to keep going. That's kind of when I perked up. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's when I started slinking in my chair. Okay, this one's super relevant because let me tell you this. Yep. It says a week ago, but in our timeline, this was yesterday. I caught wind of this minutes before it happened. Yep. Just a week ago, you know, when you're listening to this, mm. Applebee's launched their date night pass, a 52-use pass that has a $30 credit on it to be used weekly. The pass cost $200, and Applebee's sold out of them in 30 seconds, 30 seconds, crashing the site and leaving customers upset. We have not received word from Pasta Pete on if he bought the pass, and we will have to change his name, but we're thinking it would be <laughs> Apple Pete. Imagine eating at Applebee's once a week for a year. Tony tried to buy one. Surprise. But even he didn't get one. He didn't get one. Okay. I heard, I, heard out of, I heard about this at 10.58 yesterday, mm -hmm. and it went on sale at 11. And I was like, oh, my God. There were like three people in that room that pulled it up on their computers. And the second it went live, it was sold out. Yep. Uh, this Insane. second. And so I was like, they they could not have sold more than a few hundred. Yeah. I refuse to believe it. Like, mm -hmm. I right, understand yeah. people like buy shit immediately. I mean, all they did was. It's all, not a PS5. It's promotion. Yeah. It, you know? It exactly. was. It was seconds. Mm -hmm. I was so upset because I so wanted to come in today and have the Apple Beast oh, pass yeah. and go, guess what? 30 right. bucks off. Every week we're going. Dude, you, you can use you it get 52 take... times. It's like a, it's like slightly over $1,500 yeah. if you used it every single week. It only costs 200 the only but, pro but the, the only problem is you got to use that yeah, The, the Apple problem Apple is you have to live with the consequences yeah. of your actions. <laughs> yeah. Both. I mean, we just went there once and we're like, I know. Which, if you, were, if you watch Ride Along after this, it'll come out tomorrow, it's Michael trying to explain that to Gracie. Like, the consequences of your actions. She's like, I feel so bad. And Michael was explaining, right, because you are normal and you are feeling bad. Right, right, right. But imagine that you feel bad all the time. Then that's what your that's normal, what normal is. is. And so it You still feel be. bad, but you forget what feeling not bad was exactly. like. Exactly. Yep. And that's where Nick lives. Taco Pass on steroids. And that's why every time when Nick goes, oh, I don't feel so good, I, I just, I don't care. Yeah. Because he lives in the bad and he makes it bad every day. He makes bad decisions every day. Yeah. Okay, and so this is funny. You it also it. in the ride along, as I was explaining to yeah. Gracie about living in that pit of despair, and sometimes like if you feel bad now, just keep eating more bad things. It won't get better, but your brain will trick you into thinking yeah. it got better because you'll forget what it was like to not feel like this, mm -hmm. which is terrible. And don't ever let up either, because if you never start let good up. again, then never well, let up. I thought your analogy was right. Of you're underwater the whole time, and if you come up for air, <laughs> you, that's not good right. for you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's bad because you're going back. Down. That's bad. Yeah, you're, you're going, going back, back down. Under. You're going back and then, under, and you'll remember what it was like to breathe. And then that's, and that's when, not good. And then somewhere in there, Nick started talking about how that brownie he didn't want, and I ordered it for him. And yeah. I said, "You are responsible." for what you put in your own <laughs> mouth. You are right? a grown man. You are a grown-ass man. Nick ate everything. He ate the yep. pretzel. He, uh -huh. all he, he ate, could eat it. He ate three offering, all three offerings on the all-you-can-eat yep. menu. He definitely took it No as a dessert challenge. left behind. No right. one thinks there's going right. to be a right. dessert left behind. You, here's how it doesn't get left behind. I don't want that. I don't, don't, yeah. And then it's not ordered. Yeah. No, then thank it's never you. made. Right. And so it's yeah. never left behind. Did you see the part where I said I don't want this pretzel and then I didn't eat any pretzels? It's like that. Yeah, but when you said no pretzel, we had to you made us order two. <laughs> I didn't make anyone do anything. You did. Yeah. You did. Kind of like a Rube Goldberg. And you made of. Gracie eat three, actually. That's what yeah, well, Rube Goldberg. Oh, that's we right. haven't even gotten that's a hammering her. Oh, there's time. Let me let me. We got one more for the last fact. I know oh, I'm getting wait. there, guys. Face Jam date pass? 
Uh, we, oh, do you think this is a good idea? We're gonna do something. Yeah. How can we do it? What though? kind of stipend should we give? The I bugs? was thinking like we sell like a little card or something, mm -hmm. and it's like if you ever see Nick in public, he, mm -hmm. he has to let you wear the mask. Okay. And you also got to take a picture with him. <laughs> yeah. Or you get to. Like we could sell that <laughs> uh -huh. for you know five hundred dollars. Right. And that doesn't get you an appointment with Nick. Oh, no. But if you happen to see him mm -hmm. and own this pass, and it's good for yep. one year. Also, <laughs> we only sell like two of them, so yeah. it sells out in two seconds. Yeah, and right. people go, and, to I want it! <laughs> and, and Tony bought one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> oh, great. Let's, uh, this last fact. In okay. 2012, the year the world ended, <laughs> Applebee's instituted a bees late night campaign to offer half price apps and drinks after 9 p.m., but a Central Florida Applebee's took the idea to the next level, creating Club Bees, a Whoa. nightclub within Applebee's, complete with club lighting and full DJ sets. Since Applebee's corporate quickly shut it down, which Ooh. fast casual chain do you think is best suited for Tuesday night body shots and a Dollarita wet t-shirt contest? Maybe like a Pluckers? Or maybe we can do it at an Arby's. Someone died at the Arby's in a freezer. Is that something for this? You gotta think about it. What could it be? Um, I have a list of candidates. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have a. Um, Let me tell you, that bathroom few, smells like they turned it into a. A few corner. photos from the Applebee's Club Bees Whoa, event. I like that photo. Oh, they're I in a polycule. There's this. Yeah. There's that. What a life. These are cool. let's these let's and then, this and then place. it turns into a nightclub. <laughs> let's go to there. Let's Central Florida Club Bees. Um, did they did they just use the that was cool the dining area for this? Yeah, well, Florida yeah, they moved yep, the tables. Not, they didn't add on. Florida to used it. to be a lot more purple. That's right. <laughs> I wouldn't fly now. Yep. Mm -mm. No sir. No sir. No sir. <laughs> uh, yeah. So they move. All, you Family know, like values. the like all like the high tops get moved and stuff, and then it becomes Club B's. Wow, I'm just glad that DeSantis can get back to being governor. Me, Bo Ron. I'm Don't glad he say that about him. <laughs> the boots are off, so he can yeah, walk I'm glad normal he can style. Take those boots shoes off. off. <laughs> the boots and the body armor are coming off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Uh, he never shook the meatball run thing. It's so good. It's fucking meatball Ron. It fucking perfect. Meatball Ron. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's, you could just call anyone it's a meatball. Not, not the good. fucking nicknames don't make any sense, but they're like they're they're, they're, they're death polit politically devastating because they're because they're, <laughs> they're so nuclear. dumb. They're from the mind of a fucking moron. Oh yeah, and the morons Ron DeSanctimonious. Yeah, they're like oh, let me ball. Yeah, <laughs> Ron DeSanctimonious was too big. It's so many syllables. It's so many. So then yeah. he went meatball. That's Ron why it's not clever. <laughs> right, meatball Ron one time rinsed. Dude's done. Rinsed. Dude is fucking done. Remember when he was winning? Like before he entered the race, <laughs> <laughs> the people. Do you know about this? The, the people, people that he paid to like run his campaign in yeah, Iowa. He paid like a super PAC to do it. He right? did. He Which paid. Was something he paid like don't do like thirty million. What he had like this insane amount of money, and it was like we're gonna put we're gonna pump this much money into Iowa. You're gonna win Iowa. It's gonna be this big thing. It's gonna be crazy. The amount that they spent per voter ended up being around thirty thousand dollars per person. And it's the same people who ran Ted Cruz's in 2016 when he got fucking washed. When he got fucked. When we found out his father was a Zodiac killer. <laughs> <laughs> What's the guy Why would do? you it was, hire? It was, when, it was when everyone, uh, a certain other mm -hmm. candidates called his wife ugly. Yes. And then, and then he said, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank I you. you. Thank you. I will uh, make My evil calls daughters. For you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he God. learned a lesson. He grew a beard. That's true. Oh, remember that picture with like the hair and everything too? God, what a fuck. I'm so fucking sick of these people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only just I can't beyond. even make jokes anymore. Nope. Uh, well, let's learn about the food. Our previous Applebee's episode nope. was really- No! What? <laughs> no, I'm getting mad. <laughs> All no, you can I'm eat not. boneless wings. Crispy, breaded pieces of tender boneless chicken tossed in your choice of one or six sauces. Classic buffalo. Honey barbecue, sweet Asian chili, garlic parmesan. Don't get that one. 
Extra hot buffalo right and honey really. pepper. You're right about that one. I Sir, wish I got the sweet Asian chili. Served with signature coleslaw, endless classic fries, and blue cheese or house-made buttermilk, buttermilk ranch dressing. Um, Waitress had a lot of opinions about ranch. Yeah, she did, and she was right, though. Oh, 100%. She well, yeah, because just started you agree with her because you're from the same place, apparently. Basically, yeah. She's uh, like, someone I'm, said I'm from New York. Blue and we cheese. Blue she started cheese. shitting on ranch. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's like, these fucks here. Yep. These fuckers. With their ranch. She didn't say that exactly, but it was close. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's She's what like, it's, these people in their it's ranch. Certainly like, what That's it's what I'm like. saying. And then I said, I'd like mine with ranch. Yeah. And she went, Of course you would. Of course you would. would. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I went, He's a California boy. <laughs> <laughs> went, I'm from California. <laughs> uh, so, which one, but before we move on to the next one, what, we got the extra hot buffalo, we got the garlic parmesan, and I got the honey pepper. Did you guys get any of the other ones? No. Okay. I didn't think so. I was just curious. Um, I should have got the sweet Asian chili. Michael yeah. and I both got garlic parmesan, and you got the extra hot buffalo mm -hmm. as yeah, well. That, yeah. You're like, did you split it up, or were they all full? I think orders? it was full orders. Yeah. She just brought them both out. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't Oof. give a fuck. Yeah. I can't imagine eating another order of those guys. Oh, uh, no. Well, certainly not the garlic parmesan. Dude, Very they were so them. goddamn wet and greasy. So yeah. greasy, and so greasy. not at all what I was expecting. Like, Long grates, yeah, yeah. Of it was Parmesan it was cheese, odd. and it was not odd. like usually. The powder. Usually, it's like dry, maybe a little bit of sauce, yeah. yeah, like like just enough to stick the crumbles, yes, mm -hmm. and that's it. It was sopping wet, Ugh. and they were just like a pile of grease on the plate. Like all of them are greasy, but yeah. I mean, compared literally to the yeah. the it was like dripping, extra hot buffalo dripping butter to this. Is. I was just like, that makes my stomach. That's what it was. Hurt. It was butter then, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was it butter, was, it was and butter. then and then like. You were talking. It's it is shavings, like not, huge pieces, not, not like <laughs> giant pieces. Not like if you were to grate cheese. These are like if you were to take a knife and like, like shaving, cut a, cut yeah. a, a little shaving strips. off of a yeah. shaving strip, unmelted, totally unmelted parmesan unmelted. Yeah. on the top of these fucking wings. It was so right, weird. Which, like unmelted, pretty par for the course with like uh, grated. Yeah. yeah, but not. Strips of cheese. No, it was very, very strange. Yeah, it was very strange. <laughs> Did I kind of talk like that? So, <laughs> a little bit. So we come very, back. but I had to double down. Very for <laughs> strange. What are we eating at Applebee's? <laughs> I uh, Home Star Warner is my favorite. Character. <laughs> uh, all you can eat riblets, expertly cut from oh, the most right, tender that. pork for delicious bone-in flavor. Uh -huh. Applebee's riblets are slow cooked. And come dripping in either honey barbecue or sweet Asian chili sauce. They, they didn't did not ask give us. us an option. They didn't Served ask with us. signature coleslaw and endless classic fries. Well, let I feel me like ask. we got the honey barbecue. I mean, they didn't yeah, ask. Which way, so you guys got the honey barbecue. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So they were expertly cut. Uh, so it had delicious bone and flavor. It had. It, it, it had, it had taste. sauce. It, it, it had, had the taste. sauce. Uh -huh. and, it had a and, taste but, flavor. But it was it was boneless. No, Expert? no. It, See, yeah, I don't even think bone in is bone ish. Yeah, bone in is not the right word. I I call that bone have. Yeah, um, bone ish is also very good. It's just these little like nubs, tiny nub bones in the middle of them. Why were like there every bite? Yeah, they look like knuckles. You guys are eating pig knuckles? <laughs> he just he's he's whispering over there. Knuckles, knuckles. knuckles. It, yeah, oh but he's whispering. I, it's like, I don't care who your favorite Sonic the Hedgehog character is. <laughs> Charmy B. <laughs> Um, well, it's just I, don't, I don't understand how there were any bones in them at all. He's canceling the apocalypse. Yeah. How were they bonish? I just don't get it. Well, there's bone like things. In uh -huh. it. That's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think someone put bones in them. Yeah, <laughs> got some oh, bones you think and they put better them. Better rebone these riblets. Added, <laughs> added, added after the fact. Get the riblet bones. It, <laughs> and it tasted it tasted like um, McRib meat. Like, not good. I wish, yeah. Like, no. no it's I like wish it It's like a McRib slab meat. of it that was like made in a laboratory. It really did look like that, like lab grown meat. Every time they show it, like this could be what you're eating in two years. The first so. bite, I was like, okay, this isn't bad, and then I ate the rest of it and was like, oh, what are we doing? Why were there bones? I don't understand. Guys, we're, we're 15 minutes over our 30 minute episode. I know. Oh, that's right. Whoops. Get to the last goddamn part. Press material. This well, one. No, no. You skipped oh, the shit. There's one dog. more. God damn it. Yeah. Oh, you can eat double crunch shrimp. Crispy, <laughs> better, bubble, double, budget, budget, budget. <laughs> I can't do it. 
Yeah, you crispy can do batter, it. double crunch shrimp are fried golden brown. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the sentence. Now is where you expect a comma. <laughs> now you expect a comma, and you get hit with a hard period. <laughs> what is with what is with the copy in this episode? <laughs> Crispy batter, double crunch shrimp, are fried golden brown. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I'm glad I had to take this I one. I like Jordan tried to read it faster, but he, he read it at the exact same speed, just frantic. <laughs> are fried golden brown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make it make sense. Oh, I meant before that. Yeah. Don't when you, read you brain broke. <laughs> Where's the earthquake? It's, it's, it's happening right now. What? <laughs> what is this sentence? Served with cocktail sauce. Say it, damn damn you. Served with a cocktail sauce, signature coleslaw, and endless classic fries. <laughs> I don't. I waiting. still don't understand. Pull the fucking knife out of me already. Wait, I'm <laughs> waiting for the first sentence to make sense. What do you not understand? Crispy <laughs> batter, yeah, double crunch yeah. shrimp, are fried golden brown. <laughs> That's what they are. Jordan is <laughs> confused. <laughs> Oh, fuck. They do, like, it's such a, wow, delicious bone-in flavor, cooked and slow-cooked, and they are dripping. Could not give a Double shit. Double crunch shrimp or fried golden brown. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Jesus I Christ. I don't know why. That's, like, the funniest copy we've ever read. What? That's so fucking funny to me. Oh, my fucking God, dude. Oh, shit. I want that to commission so like funny. a calligraphy of this. Oh, it's... my brain. Oh, my brain. That's so funny. Between that sentence and the earthquake Dollarita Steve <laughs> thing, I just don't know what's going on my, today. Uh, Michael's whole face is scrunched. <laughs> he, he's, he, I think it's hurting. Quote, him. we know America loves our all-you-can-eat boneless wings, so what better way to kickstart the year by bringing them back, plus endless riblets and double crunch shrimp. <laughs> Said Applebee's chief marketing officer, Joel Yashinsky. Uh -huh. He can't even talk right. Whether mixing and matching or staying the course with your favorite savory protein, there's no going wrong. So I describe Applebee's, <laughs> my favorite savory protein. I guess, I guess they should have marketed it like that. Yeah. Like all you, you can eat do, protein. Do you need nourishment? <laughs> I mean, technically. Are you going for big gains, <laughs> but you want little cost? <laughs> all you can eat. Bone wings. Eating, come eat these double crunch shrimp. They are fried golden. Brown. They're they, they are fried golden brown. <laughs> oh fuck, man! What um, better way to kickstart the year by bringing them back? <laughs> uh, fried golden brown. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, this is the total cost before tip. Well, we got three cocktails. We did get three cocktails and two, two orders, orders of pretzels. pretzels. And yeah, because a, you had to not have one. Yeah. And, and a $1 brownie bite. Which I think was a dollar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even know if that was on the receipt. Um, it was like a hundred. It was like 150 bucks. That's for five people. There were five right? of them. But yeah. It's 150 right. bucks. There you go. He was doing number math. Way to go, man. Monkey math. Mm -hmm. With tip and everything, it was up there. About the, the price of a... Date date pass. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it costs it costs about a date pass uh, for five people to get these things. Look, we is it is it worth it? What we, do you think? We definitely ate our fill, and it's fifteen bucks for all you can eat, which is a good deal. But like, and you have options. Like yeah. you have, you can get the double crunch shrimp fried golden brown. It's not. It's not our just fried golden brown. <laughs> get it right. <laughs> get it right, you idiot. <laughs> Read what the copy says. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a make good. <laughs> Michael's like sliding out of this chair. I'm barely losing his mind. in my chair anymore. We're at, I need to get out. Our of here. minds have left. I need We're to get astral out of projecting. Here, I'm 19 minutes past this podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and mind you, I have a timer set to go off in 15 minutes. Mm. It's totally unrelated. But at four o'clock, I have a chance to get some. Cereal from Taco Bell or something? No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You the send it to a cereal. Yeah, right? that I just Ooh. need to click it at two o'clock okay. or like two. Can we make Pacific. that a video? I mean, that's. It seems like Nick is trying to do it too. Well, let's let's. No, if I if he gets it and I don't, I'm just taking his phone. Okay, it's my phone. All right, now. then let's let's rank this food and wrap up, and then uh, we can do this video of Michael getting. We'll just put it on YouTube. This will be fun. Yeah, it's yeah yeah yeah. Nick, 
All I right. think the regular buffalo sauce wings were better than the garlic the, parmesan. The extra Gracie, hot- let me try one of hers. Did you have the extra hot or just the regular one? I think just the regular one. And there really, really wasn't the much of a difference. Yeah. Only the first 500 reward members can claim a box of cinnamon twist cereal. Dude, oh, good f- luck. Um, no way I'm getting dude, there, Tony's going to try and do it? As we've yes. been discussing, there are bigger freaks than you out there. I know, dude. Surprising everyone. But here's the question right now, right? Mm-hmm. Is this button just going to come live or do I have to leave and come back? I probably gotta leave and come back. Well, you should right? have you should have a backup on the desktop. Just yeah, we case. should go over to your desktop yeah, and do it too. It's got, I think it's got to be in the app. In the app. Oh, Damn. fuck. They're, well, they let's this let's down. let's wrap this up and then we'll we'll do this. So, what do you think? Because you can get riblets, you can get shrimp. You I didn't can get, get I didn't get the shrimp. I assume Nick loved it. Um, <laughs> Larry did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I well, I'm not yeah. sold on it. Um, <laughs> wait, hang on. Turns out it was good. Were they fried golden brown? Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah. Um, I did not like the riblets. Uh-huh. I didn't enjoy biting it. Dude, and the riblets a sucked b- bone ass. out. <laughs> the riblets were shit. Cafeteria level. They were like, like school cafeteria. going going back to little white trash, Eric. Yeah, and like the just the boneless wings in general, they're pretty good. Mm-hmm. Right, like the Bonus like they're, wings, they're, yeah, they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. Especially if you get the regular uh, the parmesan that sucked. It was that too was greasy. So whatever. bad. But I got the extra hot. But it's extra hot Applebee's style, like white people style yes. chain extra hot. Yeah. So it had like a little kick, and that was it. Mm-hmm. Those were just good enough. Like I just that, have indigestion like, now. There's not really any right. Heat. Like tried, I uh, could eating some cereal. <laughs> that would be the move if you were if you were uh, uh, vegging out for protein. You could go there and just get a fuck ton of like those buffalo wings. Yeah. And it would be worth 15 bucks. Yeah. yeah. And you can get it without the fries. Like she uh-huh. asked if we wanted more. Fr- She's like, yeah. you get unlimited fries yeah, also if you want them. I don't want the fries. Yeah. I think you can get a good meal out of it. I don't know if it's going to be something that's going to enrich your life with flavor and. No, but it could enrich dining, your wallet. Yeah. Dining Nick's experience. pointing at his bicep. Yeah. You could get gains of another kind, I guess, <laughs> if you're into that. Uh, but <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, everything else I don't everything think. Everything fucking sucked. Everything, everything else sucked. Nothing else is to write home about. Right. But the, the riblets I, I were didn't, shit. I also didn't like the pretzel very much. I, th- I thought the pretzel was all right. Gracie don't, don't tell felt Gracie. a bunch of the pretzels, and she liked them. Dude, Gracie, still Gracie and I yet. agree that they were more like bread than pretzel. When Gracie was done double dipping the first one, okay. she went no, right in for no, the second I'm gonna one. Stop you. I'm going to stop uh-huh. you. That was yeah. the second one. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, she was double dipping on the first one. I watched it. Here's the thing. There were... There were, uh, well, I'm just saying when I called her out on it. Yes, absolutely. There were uh, two orders of the pretzels because Eric didn't want them, so we needed to get two. Uh, So one went in front of, uh, (laughs) Jordan is not sleeping. (laughs) One went in front of Nick and Jordan, and one went in front of uh, Gracie and me. And she picked one up and ate it within 10 seconds. Like, just, ah, like, could not control herself over it. Then I'm sitting there, and it just, it, I was really dialed in now, because she was mostly in front of me-ish. And I was like, well, she already ate one. And so now I'm just just quietly watching. And I see her look down at the plate of pretzels, and she just goes one and, like, touches it. But then but then puts her hand back, like, mm-hmm. pulls it back to herself. And I'm just, look, I'm about, I'm deciding what I'm going to say, because I'm like, why did you just touch that pretzel? I don't understand. But then she ended up picking it up and eating it. And it was that same one. I was like, okay. Because at first I thought, she's just grabbing it. Right. And then she'd let go without taking like, why it. Why did you pinch it? So then as I'm now locked in looking at it, I watched her t- I watched her dip it in the cheese, take a bite. And I just kept staring at her. And then she dipped it in again and took a bite. And I'm like, <laughs> you're just going in there, huh? Just double dipping. And she's like, oh. It never bothered me. Double dipping never bothered me. And I was like, clearly, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, it usually doesn't bother the person doing it. Right. <laughs> you, know I, right. you know what I mean? Right. And she was like, oh, do you not double dip? And I'm like, I think it, that's like saying, do you wash your hands in the bathroom? I feel like everyone should wash their oh, hands. Oh, you get points for that. And yeah, I should get like a, a reward system. And everyone shouldn't double dip. Right. Now, I don't yeah. think it's like the most egregious thing in the world, but I understand people that do, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's very much like, oh, that was in your mouth, whatever. But then also those same people will eat chips out of the same bag, which yeah. is very similar. You just mm-hmm. touch everything, whatever. Right. Regardless, being an adult and then having children, you don't double dip. I don't want them double. I don't want to teach them that. Control yourself. Etiquette. And so she goes, she, so I say this, like a shorter version of that. And she goes, I'll stop. She just goes, I'll stop. And I'm like, that's... 
I, I don't care. He's like, well, then, I'm, then I'll do it. No hesitation. <laughs> Immediately. No Immediately hesitation. Immediately goes back in. She just went, great. And it was Fucking. like Nick getting permission to order the cookie brownie thing. <laughs> and then, so then she's like, she's like, so you double dip too. Because yeah. there's because it's like, you got to have the cheese. And and I go, right. So you would you would dip one end and bite it. And then I would dip the other end and bite it. And yep. then Eric goes, right. And then you would rip it. And then you dip right. the rip. And I was like, right. What right. I did was just spoon the queso on. You could do that too, plate. but there's an easy way. There is a way, multiple yes. ways to so get the ways. cheese again and again and not double dip. What is he saying? It was like being able to see me from your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a monkey's learning yeah. self awareness. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that was discovered funny. the id, and then <laughs> because we had so much food and it was you know all you can eat coming. I was like, you know what? I took a couple bites of my second pretzel, and I was like, I don't, I don't want that. Like, I, I, I didn't even say anything. I just went, you can have this, and I gave it to Grace. And I even, I ripped the end off where I bit it again, uh-huh. so it was a clean. I just go, I put it on her little plate in yep. front of her, and she wasn't and touching go, it. She wasn't touching it, and I'm like, here, you can have this. And she's like, puts her hands up in the yeah, air, like I'm not like, accepting this. Yeah, like, and are she you goes, sure? And she's like, I, don't, I don't want this. I already I don't had want to. This. You, and need, I'm like, you need to have. And food. I went, yes, you do. Yes, of course you do. So she pushed and, and she it? Go, and she goes, no, 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 she didn't push it. And she goes, no, I don't want this. I don't want it. And I'm like, I, well, I'm not going to eat it then, so it's just going to get thrown away. And then, dude, just like the double, she went, okay. But, and then touched it and moved it like a centimeter. A centimeter. But she it was like, like. adjusted the plate. Yeah, she adjusted the plate, but that was the like, and I've accepted the goods. Yeah, yeah it's uh-huh. mine now. It was, she literally, her hands were up going, I don't want this. It's not mine. All right, I've accepted it. <laughs> and then she immediately consumed the third pretzel <laughs> minus the little nub she left that she kept offering to me yeah just in case she wanted it <laughs> which was i went i didn't want the whole pretzel why would i want the <laughs> nub back hey, just a little bite Fuck. and so eric got very excited about all this and he wanted to hammer her yeah, hammer and gracie it's yeah. great and it wasn't really a hammer it was more like that's what happened yeah. i'm fine with it mm-hmm. i thought it was hater. i thought it was great gracie stuff it, it was great. it was great gracie Dude, stuff yeah. it was great see and people, <laughs> people are gonna comment that mm-hmm. they're gonna be like, "That's gonna be the new thing everyone loves." Like, we, love, we love Gracie. Great C is goat, and <laughs> uh, Eric sucks. Great C is uh, goat. Yeah, great C you know, is goat. Just Eric short, sucks. Just shorten that even further. It's goat C. Mm. <laughs> mm. I don't know about that. Anyway, I'd give it a twenty. Twenty. That's so harsh. <laughs> Leave a review. Great C. Yeah. On on Zero. Apple, bees. oh like um, like Grazi. So you give it a twenty? Yeah, I didn't like any of it. Wow. The wings were fine. The riblets suck. I'm not. Yeah, but I didn't shrimp. get good wings. He so didn't get good 20. wings. The the garlic parmesan really sucked. We really probably should have gotten every flavor. Yeah, and then we just didn't. We, did we didn't not. coordinate we, at no, all. We did not. We, we but, all just got whatever oh, we wanted, yep. and it was like three flavors out of the <laughs> six. <laughs> Uh, and I that's don't, Applebee's fault. I, I don't think it would have been. That's a Applebee's fault. Yeah, um, well, true. clearly it might have because we already know the garlic wasn't good yeah. and the buffalo was. So it might have mattered. It may have gone up it to 20. It actually may have mattered. It may have gone up a little bit. Um, dude, alternate universe, he had the sweet chili. He gave it an 80. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Best episode of Facebook <laughs> ever. Jordan actually retired. Yeah, after right. that. <laughs> no food will ever Fellas, be better. Fellas, we're done. If we um, can't eat Applebee's every week, I mean, we're not doing It's fine. Show. If you go shove your face, it's pretty, it's pretty cost effective. Mm-hmm. Um, but whatever. There's nothing great there. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a 45. Okay. Uh, that's an average score it. of uh 32.5. Wow, which is less. almost exactly what we gave. What did we give a 36, 34, 34. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would give this more food, more opportunity uh, to be bad. I yeah, guess. Go ahead. I don't. I don't have a rating, but I would right. give this like a 75. Yeah. I would give well, this like a 75 or an 80. I fucking love this shit. Yeah. It's fine dining in Santee. I'll say that. That's uh, exactly <laughs> 100%. I put on my flattest hat and I go right over and I, man, on my, I'm fucking on my ready. ATV. Dude, 100%. I got my lifted truck, my fucking dually kit. I'm ready. <laughs> no. That is Salt life. You dude, wish you that big truck. time. You fucking got a fucking big time. I just get back. On my way back from Glamis, back from, I stopped I at that. Applebee's by Parkway Plaza. Um, I love this style of food. It is gross. It is not good. I love unlimited shitty boneless wings. That is all I want. Shitty, shitty, it's fucking boneless. great. But um, in lieu of a snack attack, because we have to get this, Michael has to win the cereal. Um, Nick is going to rate something. We're doing this anyway without Gracie. Man, that he's underhanded. We kind of did it in. I came up with in this. the ride along. Oh right yeah, away. at the at the end of the ride along, Gracie does her rating. Sort of. She sort well, of does. I'm doing 
it in two parts. Of what she, the fuck? I was like, you have six seconds about the part. <laughs> She's like, all right, let me cook. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Who's, who's driving? So no. we we decided this was Michael's idea of um because they're really getting out of control yes. with like they're little like no, but but again, they want to say they things. Yeah. The food. Now they that there's two of them. Ratings. They're, they're kind of yeah. like talking back and forth. So, well, she, Gracie came out of her shell after five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Gracie rated the fun that she had while ordering the pretzels. Right. She rated it right. out of 10. But then she rated... <laughs> but she gave but, it an 11? Right. Right. <laughs> but then she rated... But then she changed her rating to how she felt at the time, which I'm not going to spoil. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. She changed her rating yeah. from an 11. Was it up or down? Mm -hmm. We don't know. You should know. Right. So, uh, you should know. So, Nick, what are Go you... back to that conversation about getting a breath of fresh air <laughs> and then going back into the water. Uh, right, uh, yeah. It was one of those moments. Okay, Nick, what are you rating? The one bite brownie. Okay. Bite brownie? Brownie it wasn't bite. one brownie bite. bite. It was bite one brownie, dollar. Brownie bite. It was multiple bites. It was pretty it was big for bite. a brownie bite. One dollar like... brownie bite. <laughs> it was like a wedge. It was like... Michael's, Michael's dying. Okay, and what do you rate the brownie bite? I'll give it a 90. And I that's and that's out of, of what? 100. Wow, that's pretty high. That's for a food he <laughs> was made to eat yeah. and was forced to put it. And, and it made him feel bad. I docked at 10 points because I wasn't hungry and I hurt my Shut up. <laughs> but <laughs> wait, but wait. So if you well, it starts hungry, at 100. It, 100. it all, yeah, it it all starts at 100 and he knocks points off. <laughs> <laughs> I knocked off 10 because I wasn't hungry. <laughs> That's the only reason it knocked off ten points. And my stomach. I did, I wasn't hungry. Ninety. I kind of want to start. I kind of want to start rating stuff that isn't the food because the food's the worst part of what we did today. But I tell you, I'll tell you one thing. I had a great time. I had a hundred out of a hundred. Dude, oh, it, trip. Was a, it was a blast. I'm, like, this Jordan, was today I'm always rule. getting a hundred out of oh, this yeah. show. Oh yeah, yeah, okay? right, Fuck, man. <laughs> that's why. That's why we keep doing it. Oh yeah, Michael's. Well, I'm doing. Michael's I'm doing like an on. assisted glute bridge. Yep. Yeah, he's doing good. Uh, hey, you can sign up and support us at facechampod.com slash first. Uh, you check out our YouTube channel, too, and you get, like, a little taste of the stuff that we're putting up taste over there. Taste me. Okay. And I think we're gonna, I think we'll start putting more stuff on our YouTube channel, more stuff on first. We just have to find the, uh, the time, but I'm really excited about it. Hey, the monkey vinyl toy just came out. Because it's the, after the 26th. So, Is that the, um, but we didn't do that Jam's Giving we were That's okay, because I think we're doing it February 23rd. February 23rd? I'm out of town, then. Yeah. What? No. And he's do like, he, do you like how he said, yeah, huh? <laughs> it's a, it's like when we got to Applebee's and he thought it was closed. <laughs> no, no, you were in town. You were in town. Get that no, sauce. Always... Get that sauce monkey toy. Um, Eric is willing to stake what? his reputation on literally on the twenty third at any time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that's he has right. nothing to lose. Yeah, I don't, I don't give a fuck about the repu my reputation. <laughs> he, he, won't, one. he won't yeah. suffer any consequences yeah, yeah, totally if it doesn't fine. happen. Yeah, I'm good, baby. This is like the first time Trump said something controversial and it didn't affect him, yeah, so he kept he, saying dumb he, shit. And he went, "Well, check this out. Yeah, All right, get a load of this one. Uh, right, you can follow us. That's just one of the many ways in which Eric is like Donald Trump. At Face Jam Pod, stay up to date with everything on Twitter and on Instagram. Um. But that that's it. We I did mean, it. Trump's not doing this. No, you're dead. No, I don't think he could. He's not doing glute bridges. I'll tell you what. I think Donald Trump is... Uh, Makes my ass strong. Is, Whoa. Do you think Donald Trump are fried golden brown? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's definitely... Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, he sure that. is. Yep. <laughs> All All right. Wrap it up. All right, let's end it. Rate and subscribe. Tell a friend about the show where we eat the food and rate the food. And now we rate other stuff, too. Whoa. Whoa. It's our show. We can make wow. up the rules. Uh-huh. Bye. <laughs>